Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. So today I am going to show you how to use pivot clause in Oracle PLS Queen. So uh, here is the expression, I mean syntax how to write the pivot, pivot clause, use the pivot clause with a select statement. So as you can see here, we have uh, uh, one query okay, which is nested with an outer query which is selecting all the columns. So what is it? Select column 1, column 2 from table where you give some condition if you like then <coughs> after that pivot and you use some aggregate function like count, sum, average okay and use the column on which you want to exactly want to use the um, I mean what uh, yeah, you want to use the aggregate function okay and and It's about which column you want to um, show this uh, value of this uh, aggregate function count star count or have some okay you have to give some column name and after that you can uh, give some uh, and you have to mention in the in clause the value on which this aggregate function will work okay so there can be multiple values. If you give 10 values, you'll get 10 columns. Now I'm going to show you just a little bit. Uh, I want to. I'm, I'm trying to make you understand how exactly the transformation goes on in Python class. <coughs> so suppose uh, I'm here. I'm using uh, a select query. Select uh, UMP create. Sorry, EMP grade count star CNT CNT from employee master group by EMP grade. Okay, now when I run this, what exactly will happen? Let us go to the, go to the PLS skill developer. I am going to run this. So it is giving EMP create W. For W it is 1966 count and for S it is 395. Okay, so what exactly will happen when we use this pivot clause? When we use this pivot clause, it will come like this. In the column it will be W and S and count will be 1966 and 395. 1966 and 395. So it rather than coming with the row in the in the row order, it will come in the column order. So what will be your value? Okay, what will be this one? See column two for column two. Here the column two is EMP grade. So based on the expression you will give, if you want WS, then it will give WNS. If you give only W, it will give only W. If you give something rather something else, it will give something else. So we are going to write the query now. Okay. So based on this one. First we will write select star from here we will write select emp create I will take only emp create from sorry from employee master okay <coughs> Pivot count EMP grade. Let us see for EMP grade in W, comma S. Okay. So this is our syntax, if you run this, 
you see W and S. W is 1966, S is 395. Now we can do one thing, we can just use one decode statement. If it is W, then it will be worker. If it is S, then it will staff else blank. Name it TMP create. Well, oh, there is some problem. Just a moment. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Zero zero because in this in class I have not mentioned worker and staff. It's not matching. Worker 9966 staff 395. Now I am going to work on another. Uh, there is another one which is called employee EMP6 that is male and female. Still X star from select EMP6 from employee master. pivot select sorry uh, count star for emp6 in <coughs> male m and female f now let us select this one Mail two three five five female six. Oh my god. Okay, so if you just use a decode statement mail M is male, F is female, else like EMP six. In the same way you have to change it here. male and female. So you can see that how pivot statement works. You can also do it in multiple, um, I mean there can be more columns. How many columns you give here? That number of columns if it exists. If it does not exist it will give some error. Okay. Suppose uh, not always it will give error. Suppose you make it here like this. Change it and run it. male 0 female 6 because it is not matching ok so that's all about the uh, pivot statement uh, which helps you to um, create your custom multiple columns with the aggregate function and you I have used count here you can use some or uh, ok some other aggregate function so that's all for this one uh, I hope you like this one if you if you have any questions, if you have any doubt, understanding, you can just comment and I will try to reply as soon as you can. Thank you very much.